Hello everyone. I'm going to talk about the different roles and success pathways that exist in open source. Open source communities have been studied as technical communities where stakeholders join and evolve in their careers based on their often voluntary code contributions to the project. However, the open source landscape is slowly changing with more people and companies getting involved. This means that projects now need people in non-technical roles and activities to keep the project sustainable and evolving. We want to increase diversity and then we thought, hmm, what can we do to avoid the hacker perception that surrounds open source contributors? What other roles and activities actually exist, but they are hidden? Who are the hidden figures from the movie? The movie is about a true story of a team of black female mathematicians who served a vital role in NASA during the early years of the U.S. space program. We interviewed 17 successful contributors. We knew they were successful because they were speakers at OSCON, the open source conference, and they snowballed us to other high level people. We asked them to please tell their career story from the beginning when they started to when they were now. We transcribed it with several rounds of qualitative analysis, member checked them, and then adjusted what was not right about their stories. Talking about the highlights, first of all, we have found the project-centric roles, similar to the Onion model, but we also found the community-centric roles. 15 of 17 people did some type of, some type of community-centric roles. We designed this graph to represent the many pathways people follow it, using the boxes to represent the role name and the colors to represent the relation of each role with open source. From the 17 interviews, some followed a strictly coding career. Others had a career by never being a coder. Some migrating from coding to non-coding and others went into a mix of contribution types. This contributor followed a coding career. Similar to the classical onion model joining script, this person started learning to be more familiar to open source, then sent patches to one product that integrates with a second and large open source product. By acquiring knowledge about the large open source product, he became the maintainer of small libraries and then evolved to be the maintainer of the second open source product. This contributor followed a coding career and also went through the classical onion model joining script. While being a product maintainer, he moved to a non-coding role, being involved with decisions about the product roadmap, governance of the project and community management. This contributor followed a complete non-coding career. She had the open source ideology and the desire to contribute and started organizing events and advocating for open source. She went in and out open source and even not having the programming knowledge, she was hired to be an advocate and evangelist manager of a large open source project. People can build a career in open source through different roles and activities with different backgrounds, including those not related to writing software. Furthermore, people's career pathways are fluid, moving between project and community-centric roles. We need to take action to realize the importance of these varied roles, making them visible and well-recognized, which can ultimately help to attract and retain more people in open source projects. We need to help people achieve their perceptions of success and have their pots of gold at the end of the rainbow. Thank you to all interviewers and for the and also thank you to the collaborators. Marion, Igor Vizi, Anita, and Igor Steinmark. Thank you.